All right, so choosing between Lubuntu and Linux Mint XFC. Yeah, both are super stable and Ubuntu based, but they're actually made for very different kinds of users. So let's break it down and figure out which one you should install. First up, performance philosophy. Lubuntu runs the LXQT desktop, which is crazy lightweight. It idles at around 400 megabytes of RAM. So if you're trying to revive like a 10 year old laptop with two gigabytes RAM, this thing flies. Linux Mint XFCE, on the other hand, idles are about 600 megabytes and the Cinnamon version is even heavier. But uh, Mint gives you a much more complete and polished desktop, kind of like a familiar uh, Windows style experience. So yeah, you trade a little RAM for a lot more comfort. Now here's the surprising part. Um, on a system with four gigabytes RAM, Lubuntu sounds faster, but in real world use, it actually gets laggy when you start multitasking. Window animations stutter, the HDD keeps Grinding, Mint XFCE, smooth, app switching feels better, memory management is cleaner, LXQT is lean, but XFCE is like battle tested and super optimized. So for beginners, Mint wins hands down. You get a welcome screen, driver manager, all the essential apps pre-installed, LibreOffice, GIMP, the works. The software manager is nice and clean and pretty much every Ubuntu tutorial applies. Lubuntu goes minimalist, Featherpad, Trojita, Ultralight app. It's functional, but um, yeah, you'll spend time installing things. And visually, LXQT is okay, but not super polished without tweaking. Here's the simple rule. Use Lubuntu if your PC is ancient, like two gigabytes RAM or less, and you just need browsing and basic docs. Use Linux Mint XFCE if you want something lightweight, but still full featured. It's a better daily driver for most people on moderate hardware. And if you have a modern machine, just go Mint Cinnamon. It's the smoothest overall. So yeah, um, for most users, Linux Mint is the smarter, easier, more polished choice. Lubuntu only makes sense if every megabyte counts and you're squeezing life out of old hardware. Otherwise, Mint just works.